target audience is 13 and up. Hey guys, welcome back to another championship challenge. This time we are taking a look at the Ireland national winning combo. So this is John's combo from Dublin, Ireland, and he used the bouncing base attack ring, which is just a Drigger S attack ring, the Wyborg uh, weight disc from Wyborg, and the semi-flat base from Bump King. So the semi-flat base is actually decent. It's not terrible considering it's one of the early bases release. Um, it's got decent stamina, decent LAD. I decided to go for a Bakushin combo, mostly because I haven't used this attack ring on the channel before. Uh, it's not particularly good, but I kind of went with a sort of uh, Bakushin Leon on Metal Flat sort of inspired combo from the Metal Fight Limited meta. So we've got the Bakushin attack ring. I used 10 wide and I opted to use the Drigger S blade base, which is like a uh, semi-flat metal tip, uh, more flat than sharp for sure. Um, and I figured it would kind of work that way. So we're going to be using the Shin TA Stadium, and it's the first of five points. So right off the bat, the combo from Ireland broke my Drigger S blade base. Now this is molded in brown, which uh, historically is not... Um, Super great for plastic, tends to be a little fragile. Thankfully, I have an extra that is the original color, so I'm gonna swap it out. I'm not gonna count that first match um, just because it, it broke. I guess technically in a tournament, if there was a uh, breakage, you would lose the point, but we're just gonna start fresh. So Bakushin comes back strong for the next round after swapping cards and gets a KO. So a couple rounds into this, I realized that maybe I got a little bit lackadaisical with my combo building, maybe a little too confident Drigger S attack ring, um, which is what's being used on the Ireland combo is really good. Um, so I, I lose a couple rounds here and it, it gets really close. Um, so I decided to change up my tactics a little bit and opt for a little bit more of an aggressive angle on my launches to try to KO it because I realized pretty quickly that trying to tornado stall wasn't going to work, um, mostly because I was scraping with the Bakushin attack ring and because Drigger S just historically has really good stamina anyway. So going into this round, Ireland has a two to one lead right now and uh, I, I start getting a little worried here. So it's been about a year since I started doing these 2004 championship challenge videos, and this is technically the last one for the plastic gen era. I have one more, uh, which is the Japanese winning combo, but it is HMS, so it's technically a different system. So this is the last of the plastic gen combo videos. So Drigger S gets that last point. We are now 3-1 and I'm sweating bullets. I get a little bit lucky here and throw Drigger S off balance and it scrapes out and I end up getting a point. So we are 3-2. I come back with a more aggressive launch and am able to KO Drigger S and we are tied now 3-3. And here another pretty clean KO giving us a lead 4-3.
and Trigger gets another point, putting us 4-4 tied going into the last match. And we get a pretty clean combo here, knocking it out, leaving the final score 5-4. If you wanted to count that first match, it would put us at 5-5. Five, five. Uh, I will let you guys decide for yourselves what you think about that. But uh, yeah, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already for future Beyblade content. If you guys want to watch the other championship challenge videos, I'll have a playlist at the end of the video that you can check out. And I just want to thank you guys um, for the past year. We hit one year last week, and um, it's been super fun. I've made over 190 videos in the last year, and uh, I'm really enjoying the process. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's watched my videos. Um, it's been a lot of fun.